February 20th, Ukraine will mark the anniversary of Black Thursday, the bloodiest and darkest day in Medan history. For the first time since independence, more than 100 people were shot or beaten to death during peacetime. Ukrainians were hopeful that in electing a new president and parliament, they'd finally achieve closure of a Soviet presence. Sadly, the war in the eastern borders, fronted by Russian arms, has wrought strife and a rising death toll of both soldiers and civilians. Yet in the midst of this strife, I feel it important to recognize many in Ukrainian civil society, including young Ukrainians, have stepped away from their careers determined to forge better governance. I'm in communication with one young Ukrainian, Maria Korolenko, inspired by her participation in the Medan and then an internship in Canada's parliament. Now back in Ukraine, she's engaged in strengthening regional governance, building a strategy for energy independence, and assisting refugees from eastern Ukraine. Increased foreign aid and sanctions against Russia are critical, but let's also respond more generously to the calls for our support to Ukraine's civil society in their struggle for strengthened democratic governance. Sure, sure.